is prohibited, then it can do almost anything it wants. In fact, of course, the federal government is limited if the Constitution means what it says, unless it's this sneaky majoritarian document intended to create totalitarianism when we have a dictator like Lincoln or, or Franklin Roosevelt or even his cousin Theodore or the guys that have been in the White House in the past couple of terms. You'll have to decide for yourself whether the Constitution was written to permit that. But we know that at least as you read it, it is one of limited powers. Do you remember Reagan's first inaugural address? I know you do. <laughs> Who has a microphone? All right. In Reagan's first inaugural address in the third paragraph, I know you remember what he said. Do you remember what he said? Um, the states formed the federal government. And not the other way round. Now, if your humble temporary professor had been the author of that speech, I would have added, and the power which the states gave to the central government, they can take back. <laughs> They can even nullify. <laughs> Forgive me, those of you who are my generation, this is the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> they can even nullify what the federal government does, as you know, a concept readily accepted articulated in the Declaration of Independence. If we can separate from Great Britain, why can't the part of the country that hates the central government separate from the rest? Make sense to you? Makes perfect sense. Okay. Anybody else want to throw anything out at us? Sir? Uh, I think you're an anarchist and you don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do you hear me denying anything? Oh, that's my question. Oh, I thought, I thought there was going to, going to be a follow-up.